everybody, and welcome to Know Your PC. I'm Malou. And I'm Bob. And today we're going to talk to you about backing up your files. It's very important. Serious. So today we will show you how to back up your files. We're using the HP TouchSmart PC. This is the IQ500 series. It's an all-in-one computer, touch-enabled. But this procedure will also work with any PC that is preloaded with Windows, Vista, Premium, or Ultimate editions. All right, so you might be saying, what's our backup files? Well, backup is basically a copy of all the important things that you might have on your mm -hmm. computer that you've loaded, like maybe documents, photos, videos, music, important files that you really want to make sure you That's have right. a copy of. Anything you can't live without, you better back it up. Bob, have you ever, you know, not backed up your files? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have. In a few moments, presidential candidate Bob Brindley will deliver the speech of his life. Sir, are you ready for your incredibly important, nationally televised, monumentally historic, make it or break it, do or die, could clinch the nomination speech the whole American public are waiting for? Trevor, calm down. Do your Pilates. All right, I've got my speech right here on the computer. Let me pull it up. Blue screen of death. Trevor, did you back up my files? No, I thought you backed it up. I didn't back them up. What about you, Malou? I mean, is there anything that you just couldn't live without that you lost? Dr. Malou Nubla, PhD, MD, RDH, EMT, etc., etc., etc. Hello, Dr. Nubla. You've just been awarded the Nobel Prize for your formula that cures the common cold. You will be the most famous doctor in history after this award. All we need is a copy of the formula. No problem. My file's corrupted. You, 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 do, you do have a backup. Some other things that we recommend you back up are things like financial data, maybe some other legal documents, important things that you want to keep updated and always have a copy of. Now, why would you want to back up your files? Well, there's a lot of different reasons. Uh, maybe somebody else is working on a computer and they overwrite your file or erase it. There might be a virus on your computer that corrupts your hard drive. So there's lots of different reasons to back up your files. So as far as when to back up, I mean, that's really up to you. I would suggest as often as possible, especially if you spend a lot of time updating information on some of your files, you want it to be backed up right then and there. That's right. So there's a couple different places that you can back up your computer files. One of them is on the actual hard drive of the computer. You can just create another folder. We suggest, because maybe that hard drive gets corrupted, mm -hmm. you've lost both files, use an external source, using an external hard drive, a CD, a DVD, something like that to put your files on. All right, so let's get started and show you how to launch the backup wizard. We're okay. going to go to the Windows Start button here. All right. From there, you're going to go to Control Panel. And there you want to make sure that you're in the control panel home view. You'll see system and maintenance, and then you're going to click back up your computer. From there, it'll say protect your files by backing them up. So I'm going to go ahead and touch backup files. It's asking my permission to continue. I will click continue. It says, where do you want to save your backup? As we were speaking about uh, there earlier, it has a list of all the places that you can do this. Okay, so you have the HP Pocket Media Drive plugged in there. So you can see that in the drop down menu. For us, though, we're going to do it on the DVD. So I'm going to click DVD. From there, I will touch Next. OK, so then it says, which disks do you want to include in the backup? And we're going to choose the C drive. That's the one that has our files on it. From there, you touch Next. All right, so in this screen right here, it says, which files do you want to back up? So for this, we're just going to back up our pictures because we have some important photos that we, we took, right? We have fun Pure 39 pictures I don't want to lose. Yeah, you can click on anything you want to back up. But for this right. purpose, we will just do pictures and how about documents? Okay, great. So I will deselect music and videos and just make sure that I click on documents and pictures. And now this will only back up these files that are on the computer. It's not going to back up any of your programs that you might have downloaded or had on other disks that you put onto your computer. And they also the programs that come with your computer are not backed up. Those are on your recovery disk that hopefully you created earlier. So from there, we are going to touch next. And then here, it'll ask you how often do you want to create a backup. It's up to you. I would suggest as often as possible. But there's a drop down menu here that says how often. You can do weekly or daily or monthly. I'm going to choose daily. It even asks you what day and what time. So from there, you will go ahead, touch Save Settings, and start backup. OK. So now it's asking for a blank disk, so we okay. can put that in there. Let me get the blank disk for you. 
I have some blank DVDs back here and a Sharpie so we can write and label on it later. All right, here is your disc. All right, so when you insert the disc, you want to make sure that the label side is facing forward, okay? Right. All right, so I'm going to put the disc in here. And then I'll press OK. If you're going to use an external hard drive, make sure you have one big enough for all the files or if you have enough DVDs and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. And if you are using DVDs and like ours is 4.7 gigs and your file is 10 gigs, you need to be around to switch out the other disc. All right, so now it says backup files. Are you sure you want to format this disc? And we do want it to format, so we're going to go ahead and touch format. It's going to format your disc and make sure that your disc is blank. And once it's done formatting, it's going to take a little bit of time. Again, that's going to be up to the file size and whatnot. We're going to fast forward to the end of this process. All right, so backup has finished successfully. So I will close this box. And now we got to eject it, label it properly. All right, I can go ahead. Now, if you do have a rewritable disk and you want to just keep it in there to back up every day, you can just keep your disk in there. We are going to take it out, label it, and keep it for storage. All right, so you want to label that? All right, back up. All right, so I'll put it in here. Keep it in a nice, safe place. Absolutely. Protect it. Now, I will hold it. Good. Keep that over there because we're going to use it in a second. Because now I'm going to show you that we truly did back up our files. So I'm going to X out of everything, go back to our desktop screen. I'm going to press Start and go to Pictures. Remember, those were one of the things that we actually saved because we want to save our Pier 39 pictures. We backed it up. And we have Pier 39 pictures. I'm just going to double click to show you a little thumbnail. There's all our little fun pictures. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to click and drag the file into the garbage. So you can see it's no longer on this page anymore. So I'm going to X this out. Click hold on recycle bin and it's going to say empty recycle bin. All right. Are you sure you want to empty it? Yes. So this is your magic trick. So <laughs> our pictures are no longer on there. I've deleted them. They're gone. Please reinsert our backup disk. It's going to take a couple seconds for the uh, disk to be read by the computer, but I'll take you to the place where we're going to restore our files. So I'm going to press start. Then I'll go to control panel. And up here we'll have the control panel home view. So I'm going to go to back up your computer. Underneath backup files, it'll say restore files, and that's what we want to do. Now, if you use an external hard drive, you will press restore files. But since we're using a DVD, we need to go to advanced restore. All right, so we're going to advanced restore, and I'm going to click advanced restore on the next page. I'm going to continue. It's going to ask for permission. Now I'm going to go to files from an older backup made on this computer. It's the middle one. I'm going to press next, and I'm going to choose the top one because that's our last backup that we made. I'm going to press next. And up on the top here, it says select the files and folders to restore. So I'm going to restore everything in this backup. So I'm going to click restore everything and go to next. I'm also going to put the files in the original location. I know where they are, so I deleted from the pictures. The pictures are going to go back into the picture folder. All right, so in the original location, and I'm going to press start restore. And now it'll continue restoring our files. Applause, 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 look. All right, we're done, finished. All right, so we've successfully restored the files. I'm gonna click finish, and I'm gonna close out these boxes, and I'm gonna prove to you that I restored the files. All right, go for it. So I'm gonna open up HP TouchSmart, all right, and click photos. There it is, Alcatraz and all its glory. All right, so we restored them you successfully, which is great. I should be really nice to you. Look, give me a high five. High good job. Five. Thank all right. you. We did all a very right. good job. Let's play a slideshow. All right, go ahead. Play the slideshow. All right, so we just showed you how to back up your files and restore your files. That's right. Okay, so if you have any questions, just log on to the website at hp.com slash support. That's right, or you can watch more videos of me and Malou at youtube.com slash touchsmart. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good day. I'm Bob. And I'm Malou. See you later.